Hey guys, it's Bub here. In this video, we're taking a look at Rectify 11.0 RC2. A year ago, we actually took a look at Rectify 11 v3, however, it was still in beta. Since then, a year's worth of progress has been made to the project, and here we are. We're going to take a look at Release Candidate 2 of Rectify 11. Now, remember for Rectify 11, one dedicated ISO, but now, starting with version 3 like we saw last year, it is now an EXE that will transform a vanilla copy of Windows 11 into Rectify 11. Now I would like to say that Windows 11 22H2, it is a little bit of an older version, but nonetheless it should still work. I do love this theme that we have here, it really matches the regular Windows 11. We're going to select all of these to get the full Rectify experience here. We're going to go dark with mica and next so this is new I believe it actually gives us some more system settings um, that we can tweak more customization and that's it I think that all installers should actually look like this like it uses the new the new um, spinny thing down here I don't know what a better word for that is and it uses the theme that Windows 11 does overall I think this is a really beautiful installer and I think that, like I said, more more Windows installers across the board should just use this. It would look so much better. But with that being said, it is going to install this to the system. I have no clue how long it's going to take. But when we come back, hopefully we will have a rectified version of Windows 11. All right, and here we are inside of Rectify 11 after a full system restart. The first thing I'm noticing is the cursor is a different color and it's a different kind of style. I'm not sure if I like it. I kind of like the other one better. This just reminds me of like a Linux distributions cursor. Moving on, we can see that we have a new icon called Rectify 11 Control Center, which appears to be, oh, you can change the theme and stuff, secure UX theme tool, things like that. So nothing really too groundbreaking in here. It gives you some information. Um, about your system. Moving into the start menu we can see that we have it's added gadgets, um, 8 gadget pack, uh, as well as the control center like we already looked at. No real new software besides that 8 gadget pack in the control center, but gadgets looks like the Windows Vista widgets bar, maybe? I don't recall this being in the previous Rectify 11 built version, um, but it appears like it's not working very well. File Explorer, I can see that things became a little more rounded here. Things look a little different. There are different fonts down here, different spacing. There are no tabs because, like I said, this is an older version of 22H2. Um, if I were to update this through Windows Update, things would look a little better. Add Gadgets does not work. Um, going into Settings, we can take a look. Nothing has really changed in here. I mean, we can still get Windows Updates. I would hope, and I would also hope that Windows Updates are not going to break the Rectify 11 customizations. Um, not sure though, not something I really want to find out. Right clicking, the menu has became smaller and paste is a default option. If you remember with regular builds of Windows 11, paste doesn't show up unless you have something to paste and it shows up above, like in this little tray up here. That is different. That is now down there as well as we have a gadgets button. Let's see what that does. Although we do have more options. There is no like show legacy menu. Um, I would assume that they integrated everything into this, which is why there's no option to see a legacy menu. Gadgets still does nothing. I can't believe that the gadgets don't work. That is actually a little sad. I really wanted to see gadgets work. Anyways, moving on. There's just a lot of just general improvements around the system. For example, like this looks a little different. The mica theme, it's like a different sort of mica theme. The true dark mode throughout the entire operating system. Um, control panel has different fonts. Um, the true dark mode is definitely a big one. I remember that was a big selling point of Rectify 11 back when it was quote new. The fact that, you know, like control panel was never integrated with dark mode. Neither was the Winver prompt and many other legacy Windows apps. So that is definitely a big selling point as well as some icons have changed. The fonts look a little better and things like that. Rectify 11 is definitely something that I believe a lot of people should take a look at. I'm not sure if I would use it day to day because I actually have grown to love Windows 11, like the modern builds of it. Um, it just seems more reformed in how Windows 11 should have been on launch day. But 
at the time when this was a, a new project, this was much more needed than it is today. So, yeah, I mean, a lot of the things that you would see that have changed in this build were not are not really that visible. It's just subtle little improvements that you'll notice throughout the usage of the operating system. The last thing I want to look at is what I mentioned in the or what was mentioned in the GitHub installer was the fact that the uninstall feature works a lot better. Um, one thing I do want to look at here is the themes that we added before we uninstall. So apparently, let's see. I don't know where to find those. Th oh, I guess they would be under Rectify 11 Control Center, huh? Uh, let's see. Dark theme with Micah. I just want to take a look at some of the themes before we uninstall it because the uninstall process was supposedly improved with this version. So if I want to do Rectify 11 Light theme, let's turn that on. Ooh, I actually kind of like that better. It's, it's a lighter theme. Um, I actually kind of do like that. That is a nice... And now, of course, Widgets decides to work. So, okay, now we can actually take a look at this. Uh, it's like modern Windows 7 gadgets. We even have a piano we can take a look at, a unit converter. I guess we can put things on the bar as well, like that. Um, I would just probably rather have them floating on my desktop. Like, I think I would rather have, like, a clock up there and a calendar, uh, or actually, I might, I might actually want to flip those if I can figure out how to uh, you know, actually move them like that. And then I would probably have a digital clock underneath it. All right, let's take a look at this uninstall feature here. Um, I do, I do like the the sad face and the fact that it is backing stuff up before it, you know, does anything. That is a good sign. So with that being said, thank you for watching this brief overview of Rectify 11 v3, one of the newer versions. Um, it's definitely been a long road for Rectify 11, and it was much more needed when it came out originally than it is today, in my opinion. I think 22H2 has become a lot more reformed and a lot better than Windows 11 originally was. And to me, I don't see a need for this, but there's definitely some things in here that I do like that I would like to see come to Windows 11. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here as we do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.